Okay, let's summarize what we've done with area and volume. So for volume, we've talked about two methods in order to compute the volume of a solid revolution. One is the disk washer method. In that method, the formula for volume that we use is volume is pi times the integral big R squared minus little r squared times the thickness dx but in some cases the thickness might be dy. In that formula capital R is the outer radius that is the distance from the line you're revolving around to the farther end of the rectangle. so it's the distance from the line you're revolving around to the farther end of the rectangle. Small r is the inner radius. That's the distance from the line you're revolving around to the closer end of the rectangle. For that to work, you have to actually have a farther and closer end. So then the rectangle, if we think of it as being vertical or horizontal, and then obviously the line you're revolving around is either horizontal or vertical, then we think of it as being perpendicular to the line that you're revolving around. So if the rectangle is vertical, you use the disk washer method with a horizontal line. If the rectangle is considered to be horizontal, then you use the disk washer method with a vertical line. We also have the shell method. We use this method if we think of the rectangle as being parallel to the line. Volume for the shell method is 2 pi times the integral r times h times either dx or dy. In this formula, r is the distance from the rectangle to the line. Because there's only one, or because the rectangle we think of as being parallel to the line, there is only one distance from the rectangle to the line. h has nothing to do with the line you're revolving around. It's the height of the rectangle. And again, on both of these formulas, it could be dx or dy. We base that on the region. Then we also have a formula for area. Area is the integral of the height times the base but the base of the rectangle is going to be either dx or dy. The h in this formula is the height of the rectangle. That's the same h that's in the shell method. And it's important to note that for a dy rectangle, the height would be sideways. It'd be the right x minus the left x. Within all of this, we're consistently calculating distances. Whenever we do a distance, if the distance is vertical, you take the top y minus the bottom y. If you're using dx, you need to describe y in terms of x. If you're using dy, then you could use the actual letter y. When you're doing a horizontal distance, you take the right x minus the left x. So horizontal distances, you take the right x minus the left x. If you're using dx, you can use the letter x if you're using dy, you need to describe that in terms of x, so you need to solve for x. Another thing worth noting is that when you're doing the problems, 
if using dx. which is a vertical rectangle. When you're doing all of the problems, you want to solve all of the equations for y. If using dx, I'm sorry, if using dy, so a horizontal rectangle, you're going to want to solve all of the equations for x. Okay, so the rationale for all of this was gone was examined in previous videos and then there's examples in those videos and then the next several videos are examples where we go through a bunch of area volume. This is kind of the summary of all of it. Uh, feel free to email or uh, message me with questions. Thanks for watching this video.